So, so what sort of oil paints do you actually use? So I use a bit of a mix, to be honest. So um, I'm not someone that's too precious with um, what I use in that regards because um, my main sort of thing is the pigment. Um, so I've so do you use actual raw pigment? Then? Yeah, yeah. Do you sell that? Yeah. Um, yeah, we do. So is that like a powder? Yeah. So so this is like they're a really good brand. Um, this is a titanium white pigment. So. Something like that would just last and last for ages, and you can obviously mix it in with you know, whether you want to mix it with um, any sort of medium. So even if you want to kind of use water with this, because it's just a powder base, and you want to do you know, turn it into a more acrylic based paint, you can yeah. do that with this. Or if you want to go to the other side and do what I do and use it with um, oils, you'd sort of use a thinner and a um, you know sort of an odorless solvent or whatever you want to do with it. So for me, so can get, you mix that, mix that with the wax medium? And yeah, things yeah, like that? yeah, yeah. It's basically. If you even want to use a resin or something like that, and you want to colour your resin, you can put um, pigment in it. Because, um, you know, pigment's what they use to colour yeah, sort yeah, of paint. Exactly, so, yeah. um, and if you know what sort of one you're after, you just check the code, like it'll be uh, PW6 for um, an opaque titanium white, and that, that's what you got. So depending on sort of, yeah, um, your better paints will have a straighter version of the pigments in, in them. So that's yeah. the way to go. So do you use any of these varnishes? No, I don't really. Um, yeah, I don't really buy any sort of gloss while working in, but um, yeah, depending on the finish that you want, they're an easy way to go about to so yeah. some work. My mediums that I would sort of go with, I try to keep it as simple as I can for yeah. what I like to. It depends on um, yeah, it depends on what sort of um, finish that you want. Though. So I use just an overall solvent and then sort of like a um, healthy medium to sort of help speed up my oil painting. So. I'll kind of mix in, um, you know, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how I want it to feel and, and that sort of thing. But if you want it to go for that more realism look, you can start with a number one, two, um, three medium, and then a liquid one. Like if you want to go further, or if you want a little bit more smoother feeling, then you can go for like a refined seed oil as well. So, so it's a lot of experimentation. Yeah, really, and it's where you're, exactly where you're yeah, and there's d different processes for every sort of style of painting, and it's sort of about finding one that. That works for you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, there's a lot to choose from. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. What, right. are the, what are the shapers for? So, you can use them with oil painting. Um, yeah. I, I don't really use them too much, so I'm not. You know, I, I, when I'm I do seen, ceramics, seen yeah, it, yeah. When I do ceramic sculpture work, I use them a lot. Um, oh, right. Yeah, because yeah. you can sort of, you've got your, your hard, medium, and um, softer ones, but. They're really good for blending and that sort of thing if you want that kind of thing. Yeah. For me, it's probably more of a sculpture tool though. Yeah. I don't really, yeah, people yeah. use it for all different things, but yeah, I don't know. I don't reckon you'd bother with it. Nah, nah. Um, so yeah, brushes, I mean, brushes are one of those things where you can pay a lot of money or not much money and you kind of do get what you pay for. So, oh, yeah. but that said, I kind of have a lot of really crappy brushes that are really cheap that I just really like. So, um, and even these like, um, these warm up achievers, like I, I sort of tend to like to just, they're, they're a really good one for sort of feathering out and that sort of thing. And they're more of a throwaway brush, so they're not going to last you forever. No, no, I mean, they wear out very quickly. Yeah, yeah. brushes do. But, but, but I water, keep all my old ones. Watercolour painting as well, so there's, you know, these are quite a nice mahogany one with the Neef Kazan. They're quite a good one, they hold a fair bit of water and they're not bad. But I find I use some of these sort of things mm. for the oils as well. Yeah, well, I think you they're can. fantastic. That's, they're probably gonna. You wouldn't go and then use them with watercolors because they're. Um, no, no, no. But they, yeah. they tend to like really. You can really smooth things out really, mm. really well with yeah, them. You know, definitely. Um, your Neptunes are quite good too for the price point. Then they're, they're not too expensive and they're not a bad sort of brush. Oh, this is what I use. Oh yeah, the um, Isabay. Yeah, yeah Isabay, a really nice brush. Yeah, yeah. I, I do really like them. Um, yeah, they, and even in their larger ones, they've just got a nice... Oh, they're of, beautiful. They really seem to hold the oil paint well, um, and they hold up quite good too, which is good. I find that these hard ones, like these, I just don't like. No, well, they're, they're, you know, they're based on a hog here sort of thing. They're yeah. quite a cheap version of that, so... Um, if you find a really nice one, you're wanting to do more impasto work, they're good for that, where you can see your strokes and that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're wanting a more sort of feathered out approach, they're obviously not going to work. Yeah, yeah, there is a big variety in there. <coughs> uh, are these water brushes, these ones? Yeah, uh, oh, they're, no, they're actually oil, so um, they're uh, imitation sable. Um, you can use them for the colour as well, but 
I, I reckon they're really nice for an oil painting brush. Um, the ones I would show you though is the mongoose hair ones, which are just, yeah. Well, if, I mean, if you're happy with a brush, you should just stick with it. But I, yeah, these ones are um, Art Spectrum mongoose ones, and they're just really, they've got a really nice. Um, oh, they got a nice feel. Yeah, good for detail. They hold a good amount of oil paint. Um, yeah, they're a good brush. Yeah. And they come in a couple of different sizes. And these are your cheaper type of brushes, aren't they? Yeah, they're the art spectrum. They're more um, based on the whole as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and again, they're probably for, better for more in pasta based things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. 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 They say acrylic, but they're probably yes. better for um, oils, and they're quite more of a mongoose one too. Um, and they're, yeah, they're good for detail. You probably don't get a good point on them as much though, no, but Raphael really sort of see that, yeah, yeah. With them, you know. Mm. And that's the problem with some of the ends of the brushes that I find, is they, they, they tend to go out. Yeah, I know. And then you, you lose that being able to do that detail. Yeah, exactly. So it just depends on... Um, yeah, what, what sort of style you're painting. For me, it doesn't matter too much. It's just, <laughs> but if you're trying to get a certain look, then it's, yeah, it can, it's a bit different. It can get frustrating. Yeah.